Last week my uh, computer broke down, so I was trying everything to to bring it back up, but nothing was happening. So I had to uh, look in the yellow pages and try to find a um, computer repair person. So you know how you look up, uh, you, you look it up in the yellow pages, right? You go to the page and then you don't go to the ads, but you go to the small people, like in the small print. So I looked one up and there was one in my town and it was like info systems or something like that. So I found this number and I called it and this old lady answered. I go, I looked it up in the uh, yellow pages and I found your number there. Are you connected with a computer repair place? And she says, uh, no, but if you hang on a second, I, I, I know of one. So I go, well, it's an old woman, so I might need a little more patience. You know, I might as well just hang on. So I held on, I held on, and it seemed more like five minutes, I think. I could just picture her rustling through her papers and stuff. So she comes back on the phone finally, and she goes, Well, it took me a long time to find this computer repair person, but he's the best. Okay, uh, here's the number, and um, ask for Peter D. Simone. You know, I figured that she probably gave me a pretty good thing. All right, I tried the number and another old lady answered. And I asked if there's any Peter D. Simone there, and, and she said, uh, there isn't. So I said, well, let me check the number. Is this the number? And she goes, yes, it is. I, I go, okay, it must be a mistaken number, and I hung up. So there was no Peter D. Simone, and it was a totally wrong number. I think I was just the... Uh, the pawn of these two old ladies, you know?